Hi, welcome to Bumper to Bumper. I am Shravan Raja. This is your daily tidbit video on the events and happenings of the Indian auto market. And today's topic is going to be about the ultra low cost cars which are coming thick and fast uh, if reports in the media are to be believed. Uh, today morning we played out a story saying that Nissan and Ashok Leyland could work on one. Uh, and uh, the revival of the Datsun brand is also uh, on the anvil. Uh, this is for the emerging markets. Perhaps they're going to have uh, a series of cars that will occupy the bottom of the pyramid, uh, which are really inexpensive. And this, uh, uh, these cars are really for people who are more, uh, graduating from two wheels to four. Now, when you make a car at such a low price point of, say, 2 lakh or 2.5 lakh rupees, uh, there's one question that uh, really uh, not many people are able to answer, not many manufacturers are able to answer. How do you make a car that is inexpensive not look cheap? Now, I think there is only one way, of course, before going on to the answer, I'd like to also clarify this question. Uh, by inexpensive, I mean the price. And by cheap, I mean the image uh, that the car acquires over a period of time. How do you make the car have uh, the best or have one and not have the other? I think there's only one way to do it. That is to have an entire series of cars. Uh, you're going to start with a variant which has no power steering, no power windows, and take it up to a variant which has all-wheel disc brakes, which has uh, a power, which has an air conditioner, which has a more powerful engine, uh, and also throw in a lot of customization options. Uh, by throwing in customization options, you will attract a lot of youth towards your product, and it will also make it a must-have accessory rather than just being a car. It would also be a must-have uh, accessory, like a fashion accessory. And this, I think, would balance out, even out, uh, the image of the car. So you're able to sell how many of units that you're able to sell of the base model, you'd e uh, attract equal number of people for the top-end model. Well, this is easier said than done, but I'd like to know your thoughts on how to make a car inexpensive and not cheap. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow with another video, and stay tuned to Indian Auto's blog.